Hello, my Stampin' friends. It's been a while. A lot of stuff going on with the holidays and had a knee replacement surgery at the end of December. So it's kind of been a fun couple months, but uh, here I am back. And um, if you see a bruise on my arm, it's from an IV. Um, <clears throat> it's almost gone. Anyway, so I was gonna show you this cute, cute little um, card that we made, um, Kelly Gettlefinger. She's um, always stamping with Kelly, gettlefinger.com, um, or just Google her, and she's got some really cool styles. I love, I just like the way she puts together her creations and makes them uh, mixed media-ish. I mean, she's really a great lady. Um, so I kind of carbon copied what she had made um, which is this cute little inside pocket fold. And what you can do is put tickets or gift cards, pictures, a letter, whatever you want to send to somebody, you can just tuck in right there. And you're making this and you can get two of them with one sheet of designer series paper. And unfortunately we just found out this one sold out. So, Unfortunately, you cannot no longer get this. Um, but you can obviously any d designer series paper that we have or pattern paper that you have. Single sided works too, but it's always fun to have the back uh, the back of it the design. Um, so let me go ahead and get started. So we're going to start off with the twelve by twelve piece, and you want to watch your. Um, direction of your paper especially you can see how mine's always going up and down if it's <clears throat> mis mixed to where it's doesn't matter which side you're okay so i'm going to introduce you to the stampin paper trimmer what i like about it is the numbers do not wear off because they're underneath this plastic layer and it comes out to 17 inches not just 12 and it's very sturdy and when it's got the scoring and the blade and they're easily changed out and uh, it's really easy to see where you are when you're doing uh, scoring and diagonal cuts so i highly recommend this for your stamping let's see yeah that, that was the old one the old one had storage on the bottom okay so what we're gonna do is I, it's easier to lift it from this little tab. I find myself doing that and it gets stuck. So we're gonna cut this to five and a half. And I'll put all the measurements in the, um, in the description below. Okay, let's make sure I didn't cut the wrong side. I was like panicked for a second there. Okay. <clears throat> So now we'll make sure that we're using our scoring on the next. So depending which way you want your pocket, we're gonna go this way and score to four and a fourth right there. And what's nice is you can double check yourself down here. That's my, I always have to double check. That's four and a fourth. And then we're gonna bring it to eight and a half over here. And let's see, we have one more step. So you're gonna have one that's a little bit fatter. Did I mess this up again? I may have. Two, four. Nope, I didn't. Okay, yay. Okay, so this little shorter piece on this side, see how it doesn't quite meet in the middle? This is the one we're going to cut diagonal. And let's see, we want it to go like this. So I'm taking, there's like a corner that you can't really see, but I'm aiming for that right there to go here. And then I want the tip, I hope you guys can see that, down here. So what we're gonna do, I don't want the score. Just cut it, pull it keep this uh you can make ripped pieces and 
put a bunch of scraps together and make some really fun little extra items. Okay, I should go find my bone folder. And now we can put this back up and we can start the regular part, which is the stamping part. Um, actually, no, I take that back. I gotta show you one more step. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix the bone folder. I like these. Oh, can you tell I have not done a video in a while? These dimensional things are everywhere. Have you ever had, where have you found one of those that, uh, the weirdest place I've ever found it is in my cat's litter box because I guess they step on them and take them in there and it's really funny to find them in there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just put some of the seal right at the tip. Nope, I didn't get it on there. And we're just gonna press it down and you're done. So now you have that part. And the rest is really pretty simple. It's just like building a basic card now on top. Um, what I did for this one is I just did a cute little design to kind of make it look, you know, cause it looked kind of bland, just putting a white piece of paper in there. But, um, so let's see here. What do we have? I went ahead and pre-stamped what we're doing today, but I will tell you that for this, I did a piece that is five by three and three fourths the matte color and then that's just a fourth of an inch shorter so that's four the, the the white one basic white is and this is um orchid oasis this is um four and three fourths by three and a half i had to think about that for a second and like I said, I'll post them in the comments. So what I went ahead and did is I love this whimsical, I forgot what it's called now, great. There's a whole set of these and it's different sizes and um, you can find it in the annual catalog. And excuse me, um, let's see what page is it on? I was trying to find my catalog. But I like these because, I mean, this is great for scrapbooking. Just think, you put a little picture in there, and there's a lot of really good dies back here for scrapbookers. Um, here it is, Stitch with Whimsy. It's on page 175. Scallop Contours is another good one. Stitched Rectangles. Um, let's see here. There was another one that was really good. It's Frames, 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 Frames. I love this one because it actually cuts out a frame. So you can frame your actual pictures. And then this cuts out four corners at one time with each die, which is really cool. And then this deckled rectangles. Those are all wonderful choices if you're into scrapbooking. But I wanted to make sure I had the right name for this uh, since it escaped me. And I just like, it just adds a little bit more whimsy like it says. So let me go ahead and put that over here and this is what we're going to put on the inside for whatever you're going to write to the person um, a birthday card or a special letter <clears throat> if you haven't talked to somebody in a while sometimes you want to write a little bit more than just a hey how you doing and then so the inside's pretty much done we put that to the side so what i did here is i took the beautiful thistle bundle which has these great dies that go with it um to make it really pop like if you're doing a 3d art or if you just wanted to do the focal point you could do that um so what i did is i took that main thistle and the little baby ones and i went ahead and stamped it with basic gray um, the first time I did it, if you want it more of like a no-line watercolor look for, because I'm using watercolor pencils today, um, go ahead and use Smoky Slate. And then, I probably should have started this a little bit before, but what I did to make these fun colors is use our watercolor pencils. I will tell you, 
These are amazing because I just put, you notice how I'm not really concentrating on filling in? Is because you can get a blender pen, which I suggest for this one. Or if you have watercolor paper, you could use the aqua painters. Um, we you get three in a set with different tip sizes. But we're not going to use that because then it would just kind of mess up this paper since it's the basic white if you get too much water on it. But what I like about the blender pens, not the blends, but the blender pens that come in a, there's three in a pack. And you get, I'll show them to you. You get three of these in a pack. And they're double tipped. It is actually clean. Um, it's just you need to wipe it off in between colors. But what it does is it just picks up this color and spreads it and blends it beautifully. I cannot stress enough how gorgeous this is. Um, oh, I don't want basic black yet. Okay. So I'm using the watercolor assortment. Um, oh, oh, both. I'm using both, basically. The assortment number two and... Does that tell you how old it is? It's got the old stuff on it. Just watercolor pencils is what they say. It, it doesn't have all the colors in it, but I'll tell you it is a good variety to where, you know, I kind of wanted something more of Orchid Oasis and Highland Heather. And you know, see again, like I'm not really paying much attention to staying in the lines. I'm just wanting to get <clears throat> some of the... Um, color in there because the blender pen does the magic and of course you could use these without a blender if you you know want to do that but I'm about to do a little bit of shading I'll try to go with the pattern a little bit but I'm coming in with flirty flamingo just on the little frayed part at the top this one reminds me of the minion movie is that funny I just, the other day I started coloring it purple and I was like, oh my God, that reminds me of that one min, I don't remember which one, but it reminds me of those minions when they go evil. <laughs> so here we go. There's that. Um, this didn't take as long as I thought it would. Okay. So those are the three colors. We got gorgeous grape, old olive, and flurry flamingos, what I used. Um, so I'm gonna put those to the side. And I'll go ahead and put these to the side since I went ahead and stamped them. And now I'm going to show you the magic. Um, I've got a little scratch paper over here. I'm just making sure it, when you rub it on there, there's no color that comes up. So now I'm going to do the green. And as you see, it just pulls that color just beautifully to where it looks like you spent hours and hours painting this when you didn't and then you can also make it um like if you have a bigger area to color in like this is so thin it's kind of hard to make it look shaded but if you have a bigger area you can shade darker with the same color and blend other colors within it kind of like I did here to create depth But I mean, it just, it just, it's like butter. I mean, these are the most amazing watercolor pencils I've ever seen. Now, the only reason why I'm flipping this is because I knew I had done this card a couple times. So I'm going to do this purple first and see how it's just pulling it all the way up. I'm coloring into the tips now of that. And it just makes it pop. Really brings out that gorgeous grape color. So I'm going to go to these first, and then you will see, okay, it's coming along now. And then we're going to go like that, and da, 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 da. Okay, I hope I'm not the only one that does that when they're crafting. It's so quiet in here. I usually have music on, but it's kind of hard to do when you're doing a video. So, let's see. And our fan's not running because it's been hot and then cold and then hot and then cold because we live in Texas. So, there's that. 
and so that's the blender pen so to me for a beginner watercolor pencils and blender pens pick a stamp set and you could do memento black or like the gray and you've got a good foundation to start with um and right now celebration we do still have some other designer paper that's free with every 50 dollar increment purchase right now uh ends february 28th 2023 um i will post my uh, website and monthly host code uh, at the end but what i was going to show you and i'm going to go ahead and pull this because i really don't want to get stampin blends all over the my nice little mat that i bought here <clears throat> It's a fun little trick so you can splatter as you just take the wide tip part of a Stampin' Blend, which is an alcohol-based marker, and it kind of gives it, oops, a more vintage -y look. And then we're going to do um, some color on the outside with the little baby brushes. They're so cute. They came out in, excuse me, I'm going to show you the different... So, there's the big ones, and there's the smaller ones that we now carry, and there's actually a storage uh, case that I haven't gotten yet, but I'm going to get it so I don't have to go wheel across. And all you have to do is put some, uh, I just put some detergent it's from the kitchen sink, um, dish soap, rub it in there. Um, this one, I think I just didn't clean it good enough because it came back up, but they really, they come clean. They surprise me every time. <clears throat> But I have 12 of them, so you could either do that or just say, oh, this is the one I use for anything that's blue. And then, so the little baby ones, I think, is a little bit easier to use for a small project like this. And I'm going to, uh, you want to, don't go too crazy because um, my first one, I went a little haywire and it just kind of mucked it up. And I didn't like the way it uh, overtook the sides. It kind of went like, and it looked more... I like that, but I'm going to kind of use my fingers, but it was bad. I mean, it was like more than you would want. <laughs> so, and now I'm starting to feel like it's a seed packet. Since it's spring, almost, well, it's not spring yet, but we have our little baby daffodils are out. Can't wait for the little flowers to pop up. Only in Texas. All right. So, and then I'm going to do a quick little, just to kind of tone down that bright white. And there you go. That's all I did with that. And then, we're going to do our little B, which I stamped again in the basic gray. Oh, and then I used Orchid Oasis to match the matte. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, it's just weather keeps changing. It goes from hot or warm to cold. And every time it does that, it messes up with my allergies. So the B is from Honey Bee Home. I just wanted a B. So I just had to find a stamp set. And then I was doing the sentiment as a birthday because to me it's like a gift card, pictures. You could put whatever sentiment you want on there. But um, I just used the happy birthday. And then, oh goody, I lost the little dies. Oh, okay. Where is this piece? There's the other piece. So, oh yes, I'm, huh, honeybee. Very easy to color because you just do the one. I'm using Daffodil Delight. I did use a little bit of the black just to kind of give him some depth again and then we will go back there we go and they, okay so this is what I was talking about you just kind of take your marker like that and then we're going to grab the wink of Stella I have four of these on hand at all times because I love it. And then the other thing I did was this to give it some nice little pop of color or really bring out the 
tops of the thistle. And then all we have to do is cut out the sediment and put it on there and we are finished. This one's a little bit darker and I, I kind of went a little overboard. I kind of like this one a little bit better. So once you put that on, you have your finished product. Um, I would have showed you the dies. I can't figure out what I did with them. I put them somewhere up here. Um, also wanted to show you the cute little limited edition mini stamp cut and emboss machine. It's so cute. It's in boho blue, or you can get the regular white. And this one, you can only get through joining Stampin' Up. You can join as just a hobby demo, or you can join for the discount and have fun with us, because we have a lot of fun on our team. Um, it also comes with the plates. I don't have all of them, but there's like two more that come with it. Uh, there's two options that you can do. Um, you for 129 US dollars plus tax, you can. Oh, of course, I don't have a celebration sitting here. Oh, lovely. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, so what, what was I saying? 129, you can choose between the white or the boho blue mini cut and boss machine, plus you can customize your kit to what you want which means you can go through, it'll walk you through, choose what products that you want up to $175. For $129, you're getting 200 and about $225 worth of product. Or if you don't want the mini machine and you think, oh no, I think I really want the bigger one, I think the best bet would be going with the $99, which is our normal price, but they sweeten the deal through the end of this month, February, 2023. So after this month, this is no longer available. You can get, uh, for $99, you pick $175 worth of product, which means you can get the bigger machine plus a die set. And then everything you buy after that is 20% off. It's just, it's a great deal. Um, so if you're an avid crafter, it's great. Um, but if you just want to buy a little bit and make a card and get some free paper while celebration is still going on, just go to my website right here, lvenvertlow.stampinup.net. And here is this month's host code. You can also email me and here's my blog. I'm also on Facebook under Laura's Creative Corner. I would love if you would come, uh, Look me up, and if you have any questions, just drop me an email. And I hope you enjoyed this cute little card. And again, thank you to Kelly Gettlefinger for the cute idea. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks.